Lara, Jim Hazel here from Seven Season Studios, and this is a student critique. So this student submitted the composite to me, and we're going to go through and I'm going to show you the fundamentals of compositing. Now this is not going to be how to use Affinity Photo. We're going to assume that you already know how to use Affinity Photo, and if you don't, there's a special coupon at the end of this course for purchasing Affinity Photo from SevenSeasonStudios.com. So let's go ahead, take this into five different sections. This is going to teach you the fundamentals of compositing, such as perspective, the use of special effects, how you use atmospheric perspective, and how to go about crafting that perfect light to take this and turn it into this. So this is a really fun one for me. This is something very close to my heart because I like compositing and I love helping students. If you'd like me to troubleshoot your composite, go ahead and send it to submissions at 7thSeasonStudios.com and I'm going to do at least four more of these. So if you want to be one of those four, make sure you get those composites into me so that I can edit them here in Affinity Photo. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Affinity Photo. So here at Seven Season Studios, we really enjoy compositing and we enjoy seeing the stuff you guys have made with the videos that we've created and the courses that have come out. So I thought that this one would be an interesting student edit and this is going to be a multi-part edit. So this is part one. And I wanted to address the use of perspective. So this student gave me permission to use their composite to explain perspective because that's what he was going for. So this composite was put together by a student and I want to show you one trick that really will help the composite and change the complete narrative of this edit. So we've got a woman here and she's holding up some sort of light and we've got a bear in the background. I've got a lot of fog. Now, this is going to be a multi-step process, so this is only video one. We're going to address perspective, and then I'm going to show you how the change in perspective completely changes the narrative of this image. So, for compositors out there, this is a vital skill. All right, down along the side here, the student put the vanishing point somewhere along here, and I don't necessarily hate that, right? You always want to find the horizon line. And the student intentionally put down his reference images. So the reference images that were used were this bear and this woman. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull a line here with the rectangle tool. If we look at this image, this is where the horizon line is in the original source image. So you see how it hits the bag around halfway through. Now, the reason that this one is a little less than perfect is because she's a little bit too far up. So to change the narrative, we're going to come up to her. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group her and the flare. So we move those two together and I'm going to go ahead and run the shadow into that group. All right, let's just group that together. All right, now let's go ahead and hold control. And now bring her down until the bag is right about where it needs to be. Now, notice that I increased the size of the woman. When you increase the size, it doesn't matter whether you increase or decrease, but where the image originally hit the subject, that's where you need the horizon line to be. Even if I come down in here and I shrink her down a little bit, notice here, if I now move the horizon line back and I put the bag in the same area, let's go ahead and move her down just slightly. Now the image still works, but if I have her up here somewhere, right? A little bit taller, you'll see that it looks like she's weirdly divorced from the ground. This is because when they shot the original image, the photographer was in a certain position with this woman, right? So there's the horizon line. It's shot at this level. Now the same is true for the bear. Let's look at the source image of the bear. You'll see how the horizon line in this image is right about here. So let's go ahead and pull that down. You see how far below the horizon the bear is? So if we now come to the composite, and if we assume that this is our horizon line, Look at how far above the horizon line the bear is. In order to get the bear to the right perspective, you're going to have to drop the bear down and almost go like gorillas in the mist with it, right? Now, if we assume the horizon line 
is right about here for this image, give or take. Now the bear is closer to being in the correct position, but the woman is not, right? Because we moved her before. So if we wanted to move her down, we'd have to move her into this position. Now, while I'm here, I want to cover one more element of storytelling. Let's take a look at the story that's being told from this perspective, okay? I'm going to go back. I'm going to edit. I'm just going to go ahead and close this out and reopen it, actually. File, open recent. All right. So what he was going for was this woman in the woods being stalked by the bear, all right? Now, watch what happens when we just change the size of these creatures. So I'm going to grab the girl. I'm going to grab the flare. And I'm going to grab the shadow. We're not going to talk about the shadow and the lighting. That's a whole other video. We're going to go ahead and we're going to group them together. Now, watch this. If I take her and I drag her up, let's make sure the bag is in the horizon line. Now, notice she's kind of coming toward us, right? And you'll notice now the bear is in the background. Now, we're going to move him down into a position there. You'll see now here, it looks like the bear is stalking her. This is the narrative that's being told. But now watch this. If we take the bear and we enlarge the bear and we move the bear down to make him work. I know I'm ignoring all of this and I'm putting the bear on the road. And now... We take her and we shrink her down into the background and we move her to where she needs to be here. Let's go ahead and even move her a little bit further. Now, what does it look like? Notice how the narrative of the story has changed. So now it's a woman walking with sort of a familiar bear. It changes the narrative dramatically and it begins with the starting look at perspective. So perspective is one of those things that's really difficult for first time compositors to get. This student did a really great job at taking a first swag at it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create a couple more videos and I'm going to release them during a week and we're going to do a YouTube master's class on this composition. So step one is getting your perspective right. All right, let's go ahead and call it on this one and we'll see you in video two.